Thank you for selecting this video. In case you are new to my channel, I recommend you to check out and subscribe as I post new videos every week. In this episode 8 from the Netherlands, I visit the city of Delft. After this video, check out my full Netherlands playlist for more episodes in case you may have missed them. Good morning guys, today I'm heading to Breda and I'm in a little bit of a rush because I just got my first round but this one I need to catch it right away to continue to the Delft station. So let's get right to it. Uh, so I just stopped at the Prinzenhof uh, and they told me that this is the station you need to, the tram station at least, that you need to get off. Uh, I'm not sure where to head next. I did see some, um, like some, probably some church towers that I'll be checking out. I think they are on this side. But first, uh, I noticed this windmill, so I'm going to check that one out first. So I just found a sign and says Center Mark. That's where I'll head uh, later on. Uh, Prinsenquartier, Prinsenhof, and the pottery. Now Delft is known for the Delft blue um, pottery, like the ceramics. Uh, my mother used to be like a really big fan. She passed away about 10 years ago. Used to be a really, really big fan of the Delft blue pottery. Um, and I just noticed, uh, I don't know if you can see the sign, uh, but it is, it says escape room. And I find this pretty interesting little building. Oh, there's like a signage here. What the uh, wall tower, part of the medieval town wall built in 1500. Wow. Radically restored in 1932 and altered in 1967. So this is a pretty old building, strangely like just along the uh, tram tracks, which are on this side. And I'm getting closer to the windmill. Now, this is in the city. It's probably not functional. Yeah, it is closed now. It says because of the pandemic, uh, it is closed, but normally you can visit it. Um, but I can take some shots, right? I'm right beneath it. Uh, and from, from far away, it, it looks like it might not be like the, one of the biggest ones. But once you get a little bit closer, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty high, pretty big, actually. And I think there, I'm, I'm turning around here because I think there's some information about it, at least that we can uh, give you. So what is said here is that there used to be 18 uh, windmills uh, within the city of Delft, and now this is the last one standing. So the Prince Klaus, which is the, I believe it's the husband of Queen Beatrix, former queen of the Netherlands, still alive. Um, the Prince uh, Klaus, he died many years ago. Really? <laughs> but uh, um, he inaugurated this uh, restored windmill in 1990. And there are some paintings here on the floor. Let's see what it says. Haar haren werden grijs en ze kreeg overal rimpels, maar haar hart bleef jong. So she remained young, basically, as her hair got gray, but she remained young. Or at least her heart remained young. And this is yet another one.
Now this is pretty cool. I'm uh, starting to get on the inside of the city of Delft and uh, you can all already start to find some uh, some things related to this uh, little town, little city. Uh, you can even see that the trams are white and blue. Now a lot of places here in the Netherlands now they are oh look at this beautiful beautiful shot wow look at the tower just really really nice now I got recommended to come here and it's fairly close uh, to where I was staying in, in Den Haag now I'm not gonna visit probably any museums I do see one here now the Museum Prinsenhof Delft But in order to visit museums now, you have to make appointments. I didn't fully plan to come here today. I just woke up and with no real plans and decided to check this little town out. That is an amazing looking tower. And I just just in time for the beer that I ordered. Yeah, put it right there. I'll be back. Put it right there. I'll be back. When I leave, I'll take some beers with me, right? Why not? Now guys, I have to admit, I got lost a little bit uh, while walking uh, through this uh, market. Um, uh, but I didn't mind, sometimes you need to get lost and find other uh, things and areas that maybe you were not really looking for and maybe you find interesting things along the way. Um, now this is the city hall or the town hall of Delft, a beautiful looking building and I'm on the main market so like normally you would find this place pretty full of people and with uh, stands selling stuff uh, I'm gonna try to get in here in this uh, large church old church uh, I do believe that the uh, rest of uh, uh, what is it um, Willem van Oranje so uh, one of the old kings of uh, the Netherlands, like one of the most important ones, should be buried here. Uh, I'm not sure I can get in, but I'll try. I, I did see some people uh, getting in and I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Now, on this day that a lot of things are closed, there's a good thing and there's a bad thing. Now, you can walk around, you can take good pictures, but perhaps pretty quiet uh, for the most part. For the most part, and uh, but you can see like restaurants and the cafes are closed down and the shops are open um, restaurants are open but only for takeaway and there is also more of really nice streets to walk and i believe there's another church so i don't know what religions they are so maybe they're uh protestant or well, uh, or catholic and of course all of the children see me vlogging and they come and play around me of all places so they can really <laughs> make my audio look really bad so I'll try to get in this one if not then I'll just keep walking around and show you at least some nice shots of this beautiful city I did go inside uh, to try to find out and do need to reserve the tickets to go in now I could still do it today but it would take like approximately like 45 minutes to just, like go up and do the church you can do only the uh, church side or you can include the tower you go all with it all the way up 
uh, would be amazing, but I would uh, lose a lot of time doing that. And it does have a time slot, so it's not like I can buy the ticket online right now and get in right away. So I would probably have to come back and it would get late. So I prefer to walk around a little bit and it's probably just a nice view up there. Uh, so yeah, just I'll show you the uh, Delft Blue that I mean. You probably do know about them. I think um, they are also at least somewhat popular in Asia. I'm not sure what country. I don't know if it's China or where, but these are the uh, typical Delft Blue. You find so many, so many things of them. So nice. Now, obviously, if you didn't know, these are typical Dutch houses, uh, especially these two are super, super typical. This one is also, uh, I haven't been to Amsterdam yet, but I will get there. So be pending for more videos coming up. Now I'm going to check out just briefly, uh, I see some cheese. I, I do believe I saw something that Delft uh, also has like some really good market uh, of cheese normally now in this situation uh, you know things are uh, a little bit different but you can see the cow that will have you will you need to make your cheese and uh, I don't know if they're explaining oh it's just a shop selling I thought it was a muse museum or something I'm not gonna get in there because sometimes they don't like you to film. The first tower that I saw is back there. Now the train station is going way back there, or the tram station in this case. Uh, the train, the main central station, the main central station is somewhere else. And, uh, so I walked all the way like back there and wound up here uh, where this plaza is. Uh, I'm going to check out next this other um, tower, other church, um, and see if there's anything interesting over there. Now you gotta love these uh, typical Dutch canals these old style buildings it's just beautiful something very typical that they told me about the Netherlands is that uh, you have a lot of bikes but look at this one for example the the, the wheel is off so whoever the owner is they just left it there and many of them get into the canals and get lost as well uh, they do get cleaned up periodically look at that couple with those beautiful uh, ducks and a big large swan now i'm gonna wrap up this video of uh where are we delft yes um i found this city to be quite nice um, I would definitely come back in a, you know, like in a normal period. Um, but if you are interested, I'm gonna try to do a walk video. So I'll walk back all the way to the tram and I'll start from this same location. And so you get a different kind of perspective. I know many of you are uh, into my walk videos and have subscribed because of my walk videos. I personally love them because it's a way to remember those places and it's something that I'll try to keep doing whenever I can and whenever I'm traveling uh, abroad. Now, um, without further ado, uh, I'll leave you and hope to see you next time uh, in a next episode from the Netherlands. Bye bye guys. I'll check out over there and start my walk video.